Now we're taking a look at the largest gun show in the West, which is the Crossroads of the West Gun Show. Normally, of course, no cameras are allowed at gun shows, but we've covered the show in the past, and uh, with an agreement with Bob this year, we decided to bring in video to try to explain just how large the gun show really is. So we appreciate the opportunity, and we're going to get right to it. Um, as you saw on that old map from 2007, the uh, gun show comprises five large buildings, two big tents, and then another building with the small arms review show. So this is the Crossroads of the West gun show. Uh, again, we have special permission from the promoter, and we asked each of the vendors that we took uh, video um, to double check to make sure everybody was okay with it. Of course, we try not to get any people in it, but we want to show just how large the show really is and what a ver wide variety of firearms there are uh, available. Uh, firearms, accessories, pretty much anything you'd want if you're a collector, a sports shooter, a hunter, um, military police, first time shooter, CCW, really. Um, just about every facet of the shooting sports are covered at a large gun show like this one. Lancaster Firearms, of course, is a pretty well-known manufacturer of the AKs, and they let us take a look at some of the samples they have there. Of course, everything is done on 4473s, just like it would be in a gun shop. Again, now we're standing in between the two large buildings, kind of looking back and forth to give you some idea of the scale. And here's some surplus gear from one of the vendors from Tucson, CNT. And they've got all kinds of surplus and pouches and hats and whatnot. Now, a lot a place like this doesn't really have a retail location, so their prices are pretty darn cheap because they just they they do their sales through gun shows. Uh, U.S. Optics, another company that is pretty well known. And again, they're setting up. You can get your hands on the products. If you're a reloader, there's lots of uh, powders and reloading equipment. Um, again, these are things that you're able to get your hands on, you know, without going to 17 different stores. Um, something like shooting uh, eye protection. Uh, these are Oakley sunglasses. Again, you'd have to walk into a mall probably to get a good deal on something like this, but here it is at the show for you. Um, a lot of the uh, people that have uh, tables set up our stores like this one. It's a store in Tucson and they uh, bring a lot of their merchandise to the shows and again it makes it real easy to comparison shop, uh, to shop for prices, shop for the specific model that you're looking for. Some of the vendors bring quite a few items with them. Some of them bring fewer items but the more rare items are the items that people have asked them for at other shows. Um, go to a large show like this, it, you're going to meet a lot of the vendors that you see at the other shows, but you're also going to see the people you only see once a year because they only come to the large shows. Again, there's a lot of variety, a um, lot of prices to uh, check out, and that's kind of the neat thing about it. If you do your job right as a consumer, you can really get good bargains at a show like this. There's private sales, there's uh, dealer sales, like I say, people that are working uh, from their home. It's not a shady thing at all. It just means that they don't have a lot of overhead. A lot of these guys, you know, this stuff goes into their garages over the during the week. They have another job, and then on weekends they come out to shows like this. Again, getting something like a magazine. Sometimes they're hard to find magazines. People Sometimes just they're just uh, the inexpensive ones that you want to stock up on. I tried to include stuff that I wouldn't normally check out at a gun show necessarily. And this is some of the um, uh, older stuff. Some of it is for sale, some of it is just for display. And that's the neat thing about a gun show. You can really spend a whole weekend there. Um, I believe this one was 20 bucks for all three days, which is a pretty decent deal. Uh, parking is seven bucks, or it was six, it was seven, six or seven bucks, I forget. Yeah, but uh, 20 dollars for all three days. And you know, as far as uh, entertainment goes, it really would take you three days to, to go through each and every aisle of the show and I can't think of a better way to be entertained for a weekend. Uh, it's usually right in the first week of December so it's right before Christmas. It's a great time to uh, get some holiday shopping done. Um, you can see there's lots of everyday supplies that again 
can sometimes be quite a bit cheaper than the stores just because they can buy in bulk and they don't have a lot of overhead. Uh, sometimes you can get things used from private sellers. Now you'll notice this video, we really didn't get too many private sellers, not because they weren't there, it's just that, um, you know, we bringing a camera into a gun show is sort of a, 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 a real privilege, but it's also not common. So a lot of the private sellers just aren't interested in having you see what's on their table. Again, if they're going home with that stuff, uh, they don't want you knowing what necessarily what's in their, what they're in their homes, and we can understand that completely. Um, as far as ammunition goes, there's bulk ammunition sales, but somebody like this, a friend of ours from Tucson, uh, he deals with gold and silver, but he also makes uh, specific ammunition for people that have maybe hard to find or um, unique firearms that need special attention. Of course, Tucson Guns, one of our sponsors, we want to take a minute to uh, thank them for their support all the time, and they do set up at the show. I'll just shut up so you can read that. Classic sign, it's really... Uh, I think just about everybody I know can relate to that sign. So again, you see a lot of cowboy stuff, you see a lot of Civil War stuff, you know, different eras of firearms, different um, hobbyists, different types of reenactors. They're all represented at a large show like this. And again, everybody has a chance to bargain shop or to, uh, you know, at least compare uh, models and things like this. You know, a lot of times are handmade, so you get to compare, you know, some of the different designers or some of the different craftsmen that you'd only normally see on the internet or you know through their websites or th perhaps through catalogs. Anybody who watches our videos knows I'm into bayonets so this is one of the uh, junk people that feed my addiction. I uh, meet up with him at the Phoenix shows and he helps me keep a pretty good uh, collection going with my AK bayonets. But again, this is somebody who doesn't have a shop, I don't think. He don't think he does catalogs or anything. He just sets up at gun shows a couple of times a year. And he's uh, probably a hobbyist yeah, we more than anything. Um, Nonprofits are represented, like the NRA there and like Arizona Citizens Defense League. There's really not too much political stuff typically at a gun show. But every once in a while, you'll find a candidate shaking hands and handing out stickers. Taking a look at some older rifles. Again, collections like this aren't uncommon. Quite a few people had really interesting collections like this of older firearms. And again, even if you're not necessarily buying, it's better than a museum in a lot of ways. Arizona Armor is another one of our sponsors, so we wanted to take a minute to check, check out their table. They do the steel plates. And they had some pretty good bargains going at the show. Um, find medical equipment and first aid equipment. Again, these are some guys that don't have a store but they set up at gun shows and have great prices on s mostly new, but also some surplus equipment. Um, just everything that you'd need to stock up a decent trauma kit or a decent first aid kit. Now we're probably about, we got, we've gone through the large building and then just skipped through the tents there. And now we're in the back building, the orange building. And again, we took a look at some first aid stuff. Now we're taking a look at Bug Out Bags, pretty cool uh, company out of Phoenix. And they've got uh, just about everything you'd ever want for a survival kit or for a camping or a hiking trip. Uh, all pretty much high quality stuff. We didn't really see any of the garbage stuff, you know, the cheap stuff there. Everything there would be something I would throw into my pack, I think. So that's another view of that back building, the orange building. And then looking forward at the two big tents there and in the far distance, saw the uh, ice house. And I think a lot of you guys are going to remember seeing, seeing this guy before. He's the guy that was on a lot of the Nut and Fancy videos. We recognized him right away and he was nice enough to let us uh, take a quick video. A little nod to the TNP. So uh, again, you know, it's not all <laughs> historic or uh, you know, ac his actual artifacts or anything, you get your share of this catalog type of stuff. But honestly, you know, kids really like this stuff. Uh, somebody is just looking for a novelty or for something inexpensive. Um, again, you don't have to go through the catalogs. You can pick the thing up, see what it's like. And a lot of times, some of this inexpensive stuff is actually pretty well made. And for, uh, you know, utility knives and that kind of thing. And uh, again, for gifts and whatnot. Uh, there's a lot of these guys set up and again you can comparison shop and haggle and usually get some pretty good prices. So again there's swords, there's these fancy knives and 
Some of those are probably from video games or movies. I'm honestly not up on all that, but definitely a lot of them. Uh, as well as some um, artwork stuff. You know, depending on the gun show, there's not gonna, there's going to be a certain amount of candles and and beef jerky and stuff. But some of it's pretty interesting. And this was some Indian themed jewelry and uh, clothing and stuff. So I thought we'd take a quick look at that. Again, cowboys and the old west. Uh, quite a few tables were set up like this. You know, very. Uh, eye appealing but also a lot of that was stuff was for sale so even though you're kind of looking at museum pieces there uh, if you have enough money and you're interested and you can probably buy some of that most of that uh, Omega Weapon Systems is another one of our sponsors and uh, he always brings out a really big spread of stuff for the show like this one where he knows there's going to be a lot of uh, collectors and a lot of guys that are you know, building these hard-to-find uh, firearms and weapon systems out there. So we uh, took a quick look, actually a little more in-depth look at his stuff. Um, trying to show all the stuff that Don brings to his show would probably take a whole video in itself. But uh, since we were able to turn the cameras on in this tour, we figured we'd try to show just how much stuff he actually brings out. We're still looking at Omega stuff. He carries Thompson's bayonets of all types, pretty much every rifle you can think of, any military type rifle, not to mention web gear, hats, and that kind of thing. These are all real actual surplus, not the, you know, modern recreations of anything, as well as parts, of course, for just about any weapons platform you can imagine. Uh, California Competition Works, a lot of people are familiar with their gear. Uh, they show up at the show, and again, it does attract some pretty big hitters um, as far as uh, sellers that don't typically show up at an Arizona gun show. And again, it gives us the opportunity to get our hands on stuff that normally we'd only get um, you know, through websites or through a catalog or something without actually laying hands on the product before you pay for it. Um, neat thing about gun shows too is if you're a collector, lots of coins, lots of silver, but badges and uh, you know medals and uniform ribbons and things like that, uh, lots of uniform parts. So for collectors or someone trying to put together a small diorama with a, a rifle that they may have recreated, um, you know this is really the opportunity to get your hands on stuff like that. Now we're in the last building, the uh, green building. And we're just taking a look lastly at Shooter's World, which is a pretty big uh, indoor range and gun shop in, in Phoenix. And it's just about 10 minutes away from the uh, fairground. So it's cool to see their presence there. So people know they can just kind of get on the highway and drive for a couple of five or 10 minutes and they could be uh, shooting their new uh, gun show finds at the range right there. So that was our coverage of the uh, Crossroads of the Rest gun show. Hope it was uh, worth watching.